right, so this is a, a mic test. Actually, not quite the test anymore because I've already taken this out and it worked. So this is what I've done. As you can see, I got a new arsenal in my weaponry. It's uh, another camera. I got the uh, Insta360 X3 right here mounted on my handlebars and then what I've done now is I have uh, added a different mic and attached to my GoPro and that seemed to fix the pop growing the popcorn noise 100% 100% better and I'm gonna show you guys that so thanks for joining me YouTube if you uh, had this problem I'm telling you right now you can change your settings it's in the mic I've done all the settings that they suggested on other channels other youtubers have looked into maybe it worked for them but I'm telling you what worked for me so off Amazon I ordered the uh, Movo 400 ACM and based on other youtubers too using this mic it seemed to make the problem 100% go away so you guys were correct this was a fix the other mic I had it just it pick up so much wind noise that it make it pop now it's not a real windy day it's well it's showing 75 degrees out right now beautiful day actually beautiful day for a ride and I am so excited that yes we figured it out thank you guys for the youtubers that suggested this if you guys have this problem this is a fix right here it costs about $25 on Amazon again it's the gooseneck Movo ACM 400 popping noise 100% gone 100% don't matter what speed I'm going don't matter what the wind condition is 100% gone so don't cheap out on your mic I bought, I, can't, I don't even know what brand it was. It was like a, a $13 mic. And, yeah. It made it all go away. Spend the extra $10 and get yourself this mic if you're having that kind of problem. I guess the only other test we got is how long it lasts. Maybe... Maybe after a certain amount of time, it'll start doing that popcorn noise. I don't know. But for $25, I'm not going to complain. So in my previous video, I was on this road right here. And I was talking about the gremlin bell and all the potholes. It's kind of funny. That they came through and patched all these holes up. I mean, it's not awesome. But it's funny since the last video this i was going the other direction but this has all been patched over kind of makes you almost wonder did they uh did they see that video did the county city whoever maintains this road see that video and oh we gotta get that taken care of so yeah I'm doing about 55 mile an hour. I have not experienced experimented with this camera yet. I just got the Insta360 Studio downloaded on my computer, and this will be the first go around and messing with this camera right here. But I like having another camera on here. Just see what happens. 360 degree rotation.
good stuff guys good stuff in a second here get up here to the stop sign and up ahead here and we'll get you up to a little faster speed just to prove that it is fixed and uh, the mic was everything that was causing it but right now I just got a kind of temporary nor I did I did have the other one taped up here so it didn't flop around in the wind so much but yes that's that's a good feeling now I can get out on some longer voyages and faster speeds because every road out of this town is you know 65 and in and, and up you know so it's hard to get out of this town and do videos and not have good audio and earlier today I, I just did a little test run and I was so pleased with, re with the results in which I'm going to be posting this video right here to show you guys yeah the patch job they did wasn't that great but to show you guys that this was a fix this is the fix and if you guys are experiencing these same problems with the what I'm calling popcorn popcorn noise crackling and popping in your audio when you're recording on a moto vlog buy this mic I'm not sponsored by them no way shape or form am I sponsored by them I'm not sponsored by anybody right now but I'm telling you what it is it works if you're not experiencing that problem let me know what you got I, I'm still new to the moto vlogging world and I don't I'm, I'm learning hey it cost me to learn and I already know don't cheap out and buy the cheapest stuff sometimes it's nice to save some money but when it comes down to the mic they're not expensive anyway I mean don't cheap out don't don't save the extra ten dollars and I can already hear some wind but I already know you guys ain't gonna hear be hearing that popcorn noise and even the wind is so much less I don't have the or I have the wind reduction turned off in my camera settings as suggested on another video that did not fix that but I still have it turned off and so up here we're gonna we're gonna get up to speed and there's 65 right now you'd be hearing some popping 70 mile an hour you'd definitely be hearing some popping and you're not it's a good mic uh, I'm gonna tape this wire up and get it all set more permanent now but not a real windy day you can see the windmills aren't moving around so that also shows that it's not windy but when we're going fast enough we can create our own wind and I'm telling you, on a windy day, 40, 45 mile an hour, you'd be hearing that popcorn noise. Guaranteed you're going to hear it at 65 on a calm day. So... That does it. Thanks, YouTube. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you tuning in, and I hope this helps you as much as it helped me. And watching your guys' videos and, and seeing what kind of setup you guys have helped me out also. Like, share, and subscribe.